Once you have got your VirtualBox running, you're going to need to do something a little tricky to do an install. I think this is a side effect of us using an alpha piece of software. We're going to start up the terminal. This is the command line. Going to type slash user usr slash bin slash live inst. And then you'll hit return. At that point, what it's going to do is you're going to be walked through a bunch of menu options. Yeah, all right, it complains, it complains, it complains. But what we're going to do is use sort of a low fidelity tool to install Fedora onto our virtual machine. It does take a little while, so don't do this if you have to run off somewhere in five minutes. Oh. Then again, maybe you'll get a pretty graphic installer. And you can go through and pick your language. It's going to tell you that there's a pre-release. We know that. That's why we're using a virtual machine. We want to use basic storage devices. We want to install it here, the ATA VBOX hard disk. That's the virtual box hard disk, the virtual machines, virtual hard drive. Uh, yep, it's going to reinitialize. Go ahead and say reinitialize. That sounds like our host name. Sure, I'm in New York. What's the root password? Uh oh. You can make that anything you want. Make it something you'll remember really easily. For example, here I used Serenity. Um, of course it's a weak password. It's for my virtual machine. Uh, Mel says she's going to get chocolate milk. I want you all to know that now. I'm creating a screencast and now you're part of it. No, it's fine. The students now know that you are not getting chocolate milk. They're going to be sad for you. Mel is getting chocolate milk tomorrow. If you guys see Mel tomorrow, she'll have chocolate milk. Remember that. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to end the screencast at this point, but basically go through the rest of the setup, choose all the defaults, because all it's going to do is install it on your virtual machine, and that's exactly what you want. Oh, look at that. This is the part that probably takes a half hour. So that's it for now.